We live in a world of rapid technological change, from using digital devices to considering alternative sources of energy. Technology and engineering shape our lives and inform our decisions every day to help prepare students for this new world. More and more classrooms are introducing technology and engineering topics to support learning in subjects such as science, mathematics, and social sciences. But up until now, there's not been a national snapshot of our students' technology and engineering literacy, or TEL. In 2014, the National Assessment of Educational Progress launched an innovative, first-of-its-kind assessment to test 8th grade students' knowledge and skills in TEL and report its findings to educators and policymakers. Based on the framework of this first assessment, the National Center for Education Statistics administered the first TEL assessment to better understand what students know and can do in the context of technology and engineering. Here's how the assessment worked. Using laptops, students interacted with a series of scenario-based tasks composed of videos, audio clips, animated features, and text. In each task, students solved real-world problems and answered questions. One task involved Iggy, an iguana. Iggy lives in a science classroom. Students had to study information about iguanas and Iggy's terrarium and determine how to make a series of adjustments that will help his well-being. Other TEL tasks included addressing pollution from Chicago's growth, developing a safe and inexpensive bike path, and campaigning for a new teen rec center. So, what did we learn? One, there was a gender gap in over all scores. Girls performed better than boys. 2. Students who did activities outside of school focused on design and systems, like a robotics club or building and fixing things on their own, scored higher. 3. In-school learning focused on technology and society was associated with higher scores. 4. Students who believed they could do various technology and engineering related tasks scored higher on average in TEL than students who did not. Not only was the assessment a big innovation, its findings are key to helping the nation understand how prepared America's students are to pursue further study or interact with technology in an era of rapid change.